Hi everyone, it's great to be here. I'm Nikki McClay. I'm in Auckland, New Zealand. I'm a creative director, conversational designer, and I'm also an ambassador for the Women and Voice Australia New Zealand chapter. Hi everyone, my name is Devar Ardalan. I'm executive producer. My day job is I'm at National Geographic, uh, but for the purpose of today, I am executive producer of Zan Z and um, coming to you from outside of Washington, DC. It's a great honor to be here. Thank you so much, Maddie and Women in Voice for inviting us. We're super excited to take you behind the scenes and give you a sneak peek of the making of Zan Z. Uh, Zan Z stands for Zan, which is woman in Persian, and also Z, representing Generation Z. Okay, so before we get started, a little bit of background. So Davar and I have had the pleasure of working together for a number of years on various things, and we, we um, spent a few years working together on intelligent voices of wisdom, and one of our projects was Sina Storyteller. Uh, Sina was a fledgling voice AI that was launched in 2019 at the AI for Good Summit. Um, and in 2021, she was awarded the Medal for, Device, Medal for Diversity from Project Voice, uh, Bradley Metrock. Um, she was retired earlier this year, but while she was active, she grew um, quite a quite an active knowledge base where we added a lot of information from the products we worked on, uh, projects we worked on. And um, one of those was the Woman in History Ideation Challenge, which Deva can elaborate on what we discovered while we were building out that. Yes, we worked with Top Coder to look at the publicly available data sets for stories on women. And we realized that there weren't enough, especially around women in business and technology. And so we made sure and added stories that Sina could share uh, through um, Google Assistant at the time uh, for uh, amazing, remarkable women uh, from throughout history who, has, who have contributed uh, in a way to uh, business, technology, arts, and sciences. And in 2020, at the height of the global pandemic, uh, my beloved mom uh, died of a rare blood disorder. Uh, she was a prolific scholar. She was the first woman to uh, publish a gender neutral translation of the Quran. She had written over 100 uh, books. She had saved over 5,000 family letters uh, from her American mom, Helen, and her father, Abul Qasem, from their lives between Iran and America going back to the 1940s and 50s. And so together with my siblings, we created, and I vow, we created the Lale Knowledge Lake. And this is a body of her work. Uh, and we transformed that into conversational AI as a way to show that voice AI can be used for the preservation of knowledge. And then in the fall of 2022, from throughout the streets of Iran, courageous women began to declare women life freedom. And as part of the global AI community, a group of women from around the world came together. We signed a statement stating that we wanted to make sure that uh, women in Iran knew that their voices will be heard. And uh, together with Maddie and uh, many women from Women in Voice, we decided to come together and create this project. As I mentioned, uh, Zan Z has uh, two meanings, Zan meaning women in Persian and Z representing Generation Z. So Zan Z is a voice AI and storytelling platform uh, designed to share the stories of influential Iranian women going back centuries. It also aims to preserve and improve voice AI for the Persian language. I think one thing that is uh, remarkable and not many people know because the media wouldn't know necessarily to report on this, that one of the most remarkable and underreported stories in Iran is the strength and power and character of its women's movement. I had the honor of reporting uh, on Iran for many years with my colleague Jackie Leiden when I was at NPR News. So through politics, literature, religion, poetry, women's voices have been at times like roars and other times like whispers of dissent. So we wanted to make sure that as journalists and storytellers and technologists, we would come together and create Zanzi, a project to give voice to those silenced in this movement. 
As part of it, we created Wars and Whispers, and this was an opportunity that Jackie Leiden and I brought together writers and poets from around the Washington DC region for them to recite poetry from Iranian women. And Dr. Farzana Milani of the University of uh, Virginia spoke eloquently about the history of Iranian women and their uh, way that they have expressed themselves going back centuries. Uh, also as part of this project was novelist Azar Nafisi, women's rights activist Mahna Zafkami, as well as performance artist Ehsa Saad and artist Saide Gilani. The idea here is to be able to make sure that we uh, bring to Voice AI these stories and poems that have been lost to history, and we bring them through the voice of novelists and poets who are here today in modern times. So we are um, really proud to be a remarkable team. It came together after Deva um, conversed with Maddie Apple, the wonderful CEO of Woman and Voice, of course, uh, to see if she knew anybody that could get involved or wanted to put the word out. And um, we, as a result, we have an amazing team um, that is helping build Zanzi. Absolutely. And thanks so much to Carrie also for bringing women from her network together. Yeah. So once we got our team together, uh, we set about creating Zanzi and we've created a remarkable, rich audio experience that's divided into three parts. Uh, we have some stories about the remarkable women that have um, influenced history of Iran. We have beautiful poems that are narrated by remarkable voices um, that came from the Roars and Whispers Festival. And we have an absolutely beautiful music section that features a song by Canadian singer um, Phoenix Pagliacci, which is um, breathtaking. Um, so as we designed this, the flow of this um, experience to be rather like a magazine, uh, kind of, you know, rich and audible and full of beautiful media. We um, set about building it. The beautiful Tali Weinberg, who um, is a wonderful conversational writer, she has put together the script. And at the moment, we have Zinwa Amadi, who is from Nigeria, and Kimberly Mishra, who are building out the experience using our friends over at VoiceFlow, who would like to thank as well. Absolutely. And really that we all came together and understood that using voice AI as a platform, we can uplift and amplify voices that need to be heard. And the idea that uh, this is a new media, this is new technology that can also feed voices back into a wider data ecosystem and be able to address some of the issues around tech equity and bias. Yeah, so that's right. And um, it's not without its barriers though. And the barriers here are really particular, especially because we're building a story about uh, Persian heritage, which isn't mainstream heritage when you're looking at options for creating these kind of things. So when we're looking at uh, translations, text-to-speech, voice synthesis, it added quite a few problems. And we even had to make a few workarounds uh, in which we couldn't do text-to-speech for much of the Persian names uh, because they were, it was just too hard to get the, the, um, the voice to actually pronounce them properly. Um, so this is an example of Amazon Polly Sally and Sally is not able to pronounce Iran properly. So let's listen. I am a woman and I live in Iran. I dream of the equalization of social classes. And it's important and I significant to note that this I... message that I cut and pasted and put into Amazon Polly came from a woman in Iran who sent me this message. And so here is another example of how voice AI can be used for the purpose of media expression because her voice obviously is anonymous and it is through a TTS. And then here is also Amazon Polly and this is Kimberly and Kimberly does know how to pronounce Iran. 
Let's listen. I am a woman and I live in Iran. Yeah, that's right. And um, the benefits that we have though with projects like this, because it is AI and it is drawing on different data and it is giving back to those wider ecosystems like we mentioned, um, we have the sort of threefold benefit from projects like this by focusing the subject on the project of the stories of the women uh, and Iran, Zanzi increases the media content for these two domains and it increases cultural and gender diversity in media. Um, it create, it's creating more diverse media and that can shift how algorithms rank and sort things in search engines. It also um, drawing from culturally unique and rich sources of data. Um, and like Devar said, layering everything together increases that cultural diversity. And then also it just brings together uh, unique teams that may not have the um, reason to come together as strongly or as creatively in other projects. So we're really blessed, um, especially for that part. And also as creators, we really need to become a lot more intentional. We need to slow down and we need to understand that as we create data, that we can't just leap into this new sort of AI boom without understanding that many people are being left behind, especially people who are vulnerable, who their voices uh, need to be heard. So uh, we also put in together a process around uh, data uh, governance and how, uh, you know, who has access to our data, um, et cetera. This was something Carrie brought to the team and it was very important for us to make sure that we considered um, ethical and cultural considerations as we created this prototype. Should I let my hair loose in the wind? I will allure even the gazelles. Throughout millennia, through different lands, there have been many tales of heroines. Let me share a story about Mahsa Amini, who hails from Kurdistan in the north of Iran. Intellectuals of the time became fascinated by Qamar, and poets wanted her to recite their poems. So just a delicious taste on what's to come. And uh, Nikki, it's just been remarkable working together. And as you said, with all of the team members who are working around the clock all over the world. Yeah, it's great. And it's so great to um, come together and um, demonstrate how something so uh, beautiful can also be powerful and impactful in the space. And very briefly, my full name is Iran Davar Ardalan, and uh, that's how it's pronounced. It's very difficult to pronounce, and um, for years my professional name has been Davar Ardalan. So I thought I'd share that I have a personal connection to this as well. Thank you so much. Muthushakira. Thank you, everybody.